And today, ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us how one local organization is working hard to save them. This is Bellissima, Bella for short, happily eating. But about a month ago, things looked grim. If ever there was a manatee that wasn't going to make it, it was her. This picture of Bella is hard to look at. She was found by a hiker beached and starving. Very severe wounds, very underweight. He immediately called FWC's hotline and she was rushed to Zoo Tampa. It truly did save her life. Zoo Tampa is a nonprofit and they have only one of four manatee hospitals in the entire state. We get boat strikes here animals that are underway. And right now they tell me they are busting at the seams with manatees that need help like Bella. And it's all part of a much bigger problem. 540 manatee deaths have been reported so far this year. That's three times the normal amount. Many manatees are actually starving to death. Save the Manatee President Pat Rose tells me manatees go into springs to seek warmth, but there's no food to be found. Due to too much pollution, that caused algal blooms that killed the seagrass and there's not enough for the manatees to eat. Save the Manatee has been working hard to get the mammal back on the endangered species list to get federal funding to help save them. But Rose says the solution may be years away. They told me the most important thing people can do right now to help is to report a sick or dead manatee as soon as they see it and never feed them, even if they look underweight because it could hurt them more. As for Bella, she is one of 80 manatees that have been rescued this year. She is still in critical condition and has to be given fluids and medicine every day. But she's gained 95 pounds and things are looking hopeful. The fact that she is doing so amazing is really, really exciting. In Tampa, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.